Did you know that there are some special things in life? One is orchids, of course. The other is friends and friendship. It was about a year and a half, maybe two years ago, that I was doing my own business at Costco, doing my shopping, standing in line, staring at the lady in front of me. She looks really familiar. And when she turned to look at me, I said, by any chance, it's your name. And it was a dear friend of mine. Oh, and she has and her husband five beautiful children and I just wanted to say hello I know you're watching I miss you kids I miss you so much I can't wait for this COVID thing to be done I can give you a big hug but you know what the most ironic thing about being reunited with a friend who all worked together at the same place in the mountains then we all went our separate ways I ended up here in Washington and so did they. And the most ironic thing is they live literally down the street. <laughs> and when it's summer again and the kids can get out and walk, I'm going to walk and meet them and they're going to have a day at Auntie Michelle's house. Auntie not by blood, but Auntie by close proximity. We'll go with that. I miss you kids. Can't wait to have a big popcorn movie with you. I miss you too, Mom and Dad. <laughs>Hello everybody, I'm Michelle and you've reached Michelle's Life on Repeat. And here on my channel, I like to talk about things that distract me from my chronic illnesses. And one of the most important things that you see quite frequently on my channel are orchids. And today I have a box to open. It should just be a single um, orchid from Brookside Nurseries. I ordered from them a month ago. I ordered two things and only one came in the mail. Wah, wah, wah. So I had to contact them and ask them, where's the other one by chance? And they said, oh, we'll get that right out to you on Monday. That was three or four days ago. And it finally showed up FedEx this morning. So let's open it. It should be a Thaleenopsis. And I swore that I would never buy another Phalaenopsis online because I just kill them. Or they're prone to die on me. I don't know how you want to look at that one. But I try it one more time. One more time. I normally get these lovely Phalaenopsis like this one at Trader Joe's. And that way I can walk in, I can lift up the roots, I can peek on the inside and say, yes, it's not dead yet. I have hope that I can keep it alive. Um, and they're a lot less expensive. But every once in a while you just see a beautiful one online and it gets you. <laughs> beautiful things. All right, let's see what we got here. We have. A bag and inside of a bag we have a flower I will make sure to go backward and show you the one that I did already open it's already potted up it still feels cold today was the first day of the season that we started a fire in the fireplace here in Washington State. Or, but by noon it's hot and I'm sweating and the doors are open. But this flower came Federal Express and I, it's been sitting in the warm house and it still is cold. So as you begin to order flowers online, remember to order the heat packs that come with them. Here's the roots so far. Look at those aerial roots. And find the name tag. 
and open it up. Aha! Name tag. It's a dragon's gold cross with the Hin Hisin H S I N Viola Trius. So it's a Phalaenopsis I hyphen Hyson Venus. I got it because I think it has sort of looks like a is it called a Bellina that everyone has? I can't quite find. And I think it has a little bit of a smell to it. Let's take off these cottony protections. They're in bud. Very pretty. I have yet to receive a Phalaenopsis or to purchase one or to find one that has a smell to it. This might be the first one. There's two spikes. It has three spikes on this one. Wonderfully. Wow, wow, wow. I'll show you a close up in just a moment. Look at all that pretty. Get the fuzz off. So there are hopes. I've got one, two, three spikes, and so far there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, at least 12 or 13 buds. And the roots look pretty solid in this um, sphagnum moss. These plastic containers don't give any oxygen to the inside of the plant, so I will have to cut this off, push it out, or cut this off, and re pot it in my potting choice which is bark but because it's so used to the moss I might sprinkle a little bit of moss in there with it. I just wanted to show you a little bit I probably won't do the whole um, pulling apart of the sphagnum moss on camera here but just trying to get some oxygen to the roots and examine whether they might be uh, rotted anywhere you know sometimes they've been in there so long they crease and they have a black mark but I don't see any black so I think there's hope um, it smells actually like it smells like a food it doesn't smell like moss <laughs> so it's getting a little old but um I'm going to go through, I'm going to pick a little bit of it out, but I really didn't want to disturb too much. And then keep an eye on it. If these roots just start to turn black, then I will obviously unpot completely and go from there. But see how it's just so tight? And I'm always curious to know if the core of when it was a seedling is still in there. Sometimes it's in a little plastic cage and that hampers the, the roots. So I'm just peeking. Yeah. But knowing me, I can't resist peeking and then it progresses to something bigger. But as of right now, I don't feel any plastic cage that would hold the seed when it was starting. So that's good. The inner roots will be more yellowy because they haven't seen the light of day. Hopefully she does well for me. I'm really just surprised they grow this far along and this moss packed so tight without any air and get this far in the process. That astounds me. Here I give it all the right conditions and they die in a couple of months. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. Loosen her up, find a container that I can put her in and check on her. And then slowly after maybe these um, beautiful top buds have budded open, then I will switch her into my preferred bark medium. That's what I'm going to do with this. Again, it's from Brookside Nurseries here in the United States. And like I say, I put the order in over a month ago and I have ordered from them in the past. 
I don't know if I will order any more from them through the winter. We'll see um, how these turn out. But let me show you the other one I have that I got in the first box. This one, I'll bring it up closer for you to see. This one, I don't know, it has three spikes also. And it's a Celtic Sun Maya. It's a V-U-Y-L variety. I don't know what that's a cross of. I have to look that up and put it on the screen for you. But I'll drop this down lower so you can see all the buds. It's, it's pretty darn tall. If I put this on the counter, this is my hip level and it goes up past my head. <laughs> so it's pretty big and continues to grow taller. It has the um, bulbs similar to the Miltoniopsis. So I've been keeping it kind of in a cool zone in my bedroom, not high light. It's not really bright sunshine like the um, Cavaleas like. So it's been doing okay. Let's see, when did I get this one? On October 13th. Today is October 22nd. And tomorrow is my wedding day. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 27 years to us. Hooray! And you know the only way we've stayed together is by the grace of God. <laughs> so, love that man. And here we have it. Those are my two from Brookside Orchids, and I'll put pictures up. And let me know in the comments down below what orchids you are going to order next. What's on your wish list? Thanks for joining me today. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would appreciate if you click that little subscribe button that's down below underneath that little arrow of a little half, half arrow. It helps me spread the word to those who have chronic illness that you're not alone and to those who love orchids that I love orchids too. And it helps with the algorithms of getting our videos out. So subscribe and like if that is something you feel like you want to do. I look forward to talking to you later. Bye for now. So better than orchids, better than candy, is five sweet little friends of mine whose names are... You know who you are watching the TV or on the laptop or on mom's phone. Who knows where you're watching? Around, but I can't wait to play with you kids and hopefully hopefully it will be soon